Hello you guys and welcome to another spooky speed build. Today we are building a haunted house and I am so excited to share this one with you because I just love the way it turned out and it is for sure one of my favorite builds I have done. And yeah, before I talk more about this build, I have something to say again. Uh, but seriously, I I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because we reached 200 subscribers or actually over 200. We're at like 250 subscribers right now and that is just crazy. I just did my 100 subs thank you video. So yeah, it's so, so crazy. I. I can't believe that so many people like what I do and want to support me. So really guys, from at the deep bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much. I, I love you guys. You are amazing. And I just feel like I could sit here and thank you guys for the entire rest of the video. But I'm not going to do that. But I, I really hope you guys understand how much I appreciate it because I, I really do appreciate every single one of you. So again, thank you so, so much. <laughs> so yeah, guys, <laughs> back to the build. And this was actually requested by one of you guys. And I loved the idea of a haunted house. It's such a classic build to do for Halloween. And yeah, the thought of building a haunted house really intrigued me, but I was gonna do a quick build, like a small build, a small tiny house. Uh, although when I think of a haunted house, the image that pops into my head is of a quite huge countryside villa, but um, I, I still wanted to do like a smaller version of what I saw in my head and um, yeah. Three and a half hours later, I was done, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, it is a small house for sure, but it took me such a long time to complete. <laughs> and really, I, I don't even know why. Um, it was like, three and a half hours is what I usually spend on my big builds. Like the... Uh, the... Uh, What's it called? The apartment bill. <laughs> um, or maybe that took even longer. But I spent about three and a half hours building the bigger builds. Like, I don't even know why this took so damn long. Uh, but I am really happy with the way it turned out. Um, it's even better than I thought it would be, actually. So I am pleased. So it doesn't matter that it took long. It was so, so much fun to build, actually. So... <laughs> Yeah, it, it was so much fun that I feel like I want to do another haunted house and I just touched the microphone cable I hope you couldn't hear that but I'm sorry if you did but yeah It was so much fun. I want to do another haunted house, but that might be too many haunted houses on my channel <laughs> But yeah, also as I said earlier um that image I had in my mind when building this was of a huge countryside villa with uh, old white wooden wallpaper and dark black, very pointy roofing <laughs> and um, a whole lot of windows and quite big windows, but still very traditional. And um, I wanted it to look like that. At one point in time, this was a very or quite expensive and luxurious house. Um, oh, as and as you could see, uh, I did cut out the landscaping part, but we will come back to the landscaping. <laughs> um, I actually switch between the interior and the landscaping quite a bit as I go. Uh, because I, I, I kind of kept finding items I wanted to use. So you will, you'll get to see some landscaping. And uh, as usual, if you want a closer look, um, there is screenshots at the end of the video. So at the moment, I am just doing the basic layout of the interior. I am putting down walls, so <laughs> not that interesting. Uh, and I, 
I uh, feel like some of the upstairs rooms have a bit of an awkward shape, <laughs> um, if I may say so, but I mean, that's fine. I still love this build and a lot of old houses have awkward shaped rooms, but I, I, I don't know, I do tend to get awkward shaped rooms <laughs> from time to time because I am, I don't know, I, I think I'm one of those people that tend to build from the outside in, if that makes sense. Uh, so I built the exterior without the interior in mind. Um, I'm usually way more concerned about what the build looks from the outside than inside. Um, as you, you can often just like make the interior work anyway, so <laughs> I don't know, I, I tend to build like that, so yeah. Placing a lot of cobwebs in this build, of course, and I actually place a whole lot of spiders too, because um, cobwebs equal spiders or spiders equal cobwebs, <laughs> you get it, okay. Um, because yeah, this house is made to look like it's been left. No one lives here. It is abandoned and it has, it's been for a while. So you will get cobwebs and you will get spiders uh, if you leave a house too long. I mean, you'll get that anyway because spiders tend to move in even though you haven't invited them to move in. Um, <laughs> I get a lot of spiders. I don't know about a lot, but I've had three spiders in my four years living here. Okay. Or maybe four spiders, one spider a year, I think. <laughs> and that might not be a lot, but for someone afraid of spiders, it's a lot, okay? <laughs> but anyway, um, I imagine that maybe this house was abandoned because it's haunted. Or maybe the family that lived here are the ones haunting it. And therefore, no one else wants to live here. I mean like in the family that lived here died and then it became haunted, if that wasn't clear. I mean, I, I said that the family living here or that lived here were haunting it, but obviously they had to die before they could haunt it. And <laughs> yeah, I, I think you get it. I think you get it. <laughs> or, or maybe even worse, maybe this house is cursed. So everyone that moves in die eventually and now the rumors of this curse has spread and no one dares to move in mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know maybe uh, you can make up your own story if you want to use this house in your own game um a cool thing you could do is move in a ghost family yeah and have them live here that would be that would be cool and creepy so I am furnishing the inside at the moment, if you haven't noticed. Um, I'll still go back and add a few things outside. Um, I do that a few times actually. Um, but yeah, this is the combined hallway and living area. And this first floor is a bit open planned, um, but I still think it looks very traditional. It's not like very open plan like it's open plan but it has like sections that kind of divided um what did i just do there <laughs> i don't know if you could hear that i just did something weird my, with my tongue and that sounds even stranger uh, <laughs> anyway yeah i think you'll be able to hear some kind of weird click sound i just did with my tongue but i mean it got like stuck in my throat that that sounds really strange but it, it happened, okay? It happened. <laughs> and I'm also not gonna edit that part out because even though you guys cannot see me, I am a real person and I also do weird things at times, just like everyone else. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. Um, so I am outside again and now I'm placing these uh, steamer things all over this build. It came with a get together pack, I think. So yeah, it produced like, well, steam <laughs> or smoke or fog. Um, in live mode, it will look like a fog basically. And um, you can see that later on in the screenshots too, if you want. And uh, yeah, a haunted house need a creepy mist for sure. 
Um, I also decided to put these uh, steamer things inside as well because it just makes it even creepier. <laughs> um, imagine walking inside a house and you see this thick fog inside like on the floor it would be so creepy. <laughs> um, but yeah this is the dining area and um, as you can see um, everything in this build so far and he will be later too everything in this build is very <coughs> sorry uh <coughs> excuse me uh it's very traditional and victorian and it's very dark and heavy and depressing um yeah there's a whole lot of dark woods used and uh I'll actually change the wallpapers in this open plan area later uh, to an even darker one. Um, yeah. And uh, the floor tiles I used are from the spooky stuff pack. I don't know why I said spooky like that, but it's spooky. No, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, because these floor tiles are, they look old and decaying and they're just perfect for this build. Yes, yes, I know, I feel you. I know these floor tiles I used in the kitchen are completely atrocious looking. And it doesn't match the wallpapers at all. But wait until you see the bathroom, guys. <laughs> it is worse. It is even worse, I promise you that. <laughs> but the thing is, guys, I chose awful non-matching floor tiles on purpose. <laughs> Because it can't just be me, but I think a lot of Victorian homes tend to have very awful floor tiles and wallpapers. Maybe it was in style back then, but today, in my opinion, ugh, I can't see. I cannot see how anyone could ever have thought it looked good. No. And, um... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry if you like old Victorian floors and wallpapers. <laughs> that is great for you, of course. Don't get offended by my opinion. We are all different and that is a good thing. Be proud of who you are. And uh, that was my words of wisdom for the day. <laughs> I used a lot of debug items in this build. Um, see that there is ashes on the floor. You you could see it. <laughs> there was ashes on the floor along with um, some dirty plates. Uh, I thought it fit this whole abandoned house theme well. Um, and about the ashes though, um, it's supposed to look like dust or dirt and not really ashes. <laughs> So we are outside landscaping again, guys. <laughs> so uh, one thing we don't have in The Sims 4 yet are scary, creepy trees. And uh, they would have been very useful this month. Since I'm doing so many spooky builds, um, I would have loved for them to uh, have included this in the spooky stuff pack in my opinion i would love them for even other builds than just spooky builds but it wasn't included so what i did was to use those branches from the flowers category but they are attached to a milk jug so i couldn't put them directly on the ground and have it look like trees so i created a basement i scaled them up and i placed it in the basement and the branches will stick up through the ground and look sort of somewhat like trees, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, hopefully it looks like trees. And yeah, guys, this, um, this is the completely atrocious bathroom. Have a look at those patterns and colors. But again, it's supposed to look this way. It's supposed to almost make you throw up. Oh, it's so bad. I can't even look at it. It's so dis disgustingly unmatching and oh, the colors, the colors, ew. I, I just, th there's nothing else to say about this bathroom. Luckily, mm -hmm, we move on to the study. Or I change the wallpapers in the open and planned area first and now, now guys, we're in the study. 
and uh, this is one of those awkward shaped rooms um rooms <laughs> rooms um for a study i think it works but for a bedroom it's a bit annoying to be honest um so yeah, in a study, you of course need some bookcases and a place to sit and read. And because it's Victorian, a fireplace is also mandatory. Yes, it's also mandatory. I swear, all Victorian style homes have a fireplace in the living room and in, in the study. Yes, it's a thing. I might be making that up, but it's the impression I've gotten, though. So. Mm -hmm. But there's just not a whole lot to say, uh, not a whole lot more to say, it's <laughs> very creamy and very brown and uh, I do add some red, yes, I do add some red because that's also something you see in studies. They all have to be dark brown, cream and red, it's it's also a, th also a thing, mm -hmm. and I might me, might me, <laughs> I might be making that up too. <laughs> yeah, uh, the study is almost done. I added a whole lot of cobweb and spiders there as well. And now we move up upstairs to the second floor. So up here we have three bedrooms, uh, two kids bedrooms and one is actually a nursery. And then we have the master bedroom uh, with an ensuite. Um, so yeah, there is no shared bathroom upstairs. Uh, the family bathroom is downstairs. Obviously, everyone can use this upstairs one, but it is an ensuite, so it's only connected to the master bedroom. I start with the hallway, though. Uh, I start furnishing that. It's not gonna have a lot of things, so um, what I add is another smaller little study area with a table and a bookcase so yeah this a uh, very victorian style table another of those bookcases and then clutter <laughs> some books and uh, a lantern um and these really creepy paintings that come from the uh, spooky stuff pack and they turn all creepy and spooky on you during nights. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but if you haven't, you should check it out because it's awesome. It is awesome. I think you can see the paintings um, when they've changed in the screenshots because I took the screenshots at night. So yeah, you should be able to see that. And yeah, this is one of the kids' bedrooms and uh, I imagined a little girl um so it's uh, I tried to make it feminine even though I use a lot of dark woods uh, usually dark woods tend to look very masculine um, but because the wallpapers are very light and with flower prints on it it, it still looks feminine and um, also obviously I tried to make it look spooky and if you hear a beeping noise it's my electricity i think i don't know why it does this is it does this the same time every night it makes this really high pitched beeping sound and it's really annoying and i can't make it go away and i can't really wait because this continues for a while <laughs> but anyway i tried to make the kids bedroom a bit creepy and in the screenshots you will see that it has a lot of fog and it looks creepy for sure and that beer like the teddy beer it's creepy okay it is creepy uh, i'm very pleased with that kid's bedroom um the nursery you'll see that it's kind of spooky as well um and that one has even more fog on the on the floor than the other bedroom uh, and then i put down a lot of ashes again I just thought that the ashes added so much, like it really added to the abandoned feel. It looks like it's dirty, like this house is dirty, it hasn't been cleaned, it has just been left. Um, so yeah, that was also the look I was going for, so I like it. I am uh, very pleased with that. Um, 
I'm done with the second awful <laughs> bathroom, the ensuite, and this is the nursery. So I wait with the parents' bedroom or the master bedroom until last. Uh, so yeah, this is the nursery. And have you guys thought of this? In a lot of horror movies, they use kids. Like, a lot of the ghosts are kids. And are kids really that spooky? Like, why is it always kids? Or especially like little girls are little girls that spooky to adults <laughs> like what i don't get it but um that's why i added two kids bedrooms and especially a nursery like apparently kids are creepy as f so of course we needed a lot of kids bedrooms <laughs> it's just a thought i've had have you guys thought of it like why always kids I don't know you guys, if you were haunted, would you rather be haunted by kid ghosts or adult ghosts? Like, actually take a moment to think about that. Would you rather have kids ghosts or adult ghosts? I, I think I would go with kids. Maybe? Or, I don't know. I don't know, it's just a fun thought. Not, or not fun maybe I don't want to be haunted and I don't think anyone would want to be but yeah <laughs> it's just I'm ranting again about weird things but I always get these kind of thoughts so yeah this is uh, yeah anyway <laughs> this is the master bedroom uh, it's also very dark and depressing as always as all the rooms but um, yeah, I use a lot of dark woods uh, I have in this entire build and I've also used a lot of like accent colors um, or gold as accent colors, uh, gold or orange um, and I think gold and um, dark woods go so well together and it's just very Victorian. And we're actually almost done with this build. I just add a few more things on the outside and then I'm done. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this build because it's one of my favorite builds. So if you did, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much again for the 200 subs. I love you so much, guys. And I hope you are not haunted. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon.